What up gamers, it's Noon here back with episode 16 of our Conwell campaign. We're just finishing up this little war that we got called into by our allies here. Hopefully we get some land out of it, which would be great. <sighs> Bloody guys in their stupid big fort. Uh, you know, I'm so desperate to do this, I'm happy to take some magical infamy here. So yeah, at the moment we're just trying to finish our studies uh, for this quest. And then it's going to take two years for us to finish this. Then we'll be done with the campaign, which is very exciting. Okay, nice. We did get some land. Just one province, but that's still cool. Happy with that. Shame we didn't get any of Ibavar, but that's alright. Ah, we hadn't marked it as important. Let's do that. Uh, absolutely not wisdom. You can, as they say in Conwell, Get fucked. Okay, it's the end of our golden era. It's a shame. Okay, where are our rebels coming? Here. Alright, we better stop drilling. Ooh. These guys are now vassals of Elizna. Fair enough. Yeah, you guys had better stand somewhere that you're not gonna die simply by practicing marching up and down. Okay, Revelian approved Magi. Many in the Magister's estate have come to us with their concerns with the rise of the Revelian faith in our country. For much of history, mages have been known to be a secular bunch, believing more in their powers than the divine, until now. A core tenet of the faith is that magic is divine and was stolen by the elves from God. And as such, the mages in modern day society must be respectful of magic's divine nature and strive to use their powers to serve the whims of the people, and the church, naturally. So we lose 100 admin power and 1 stability. And we get some buffs out of it, including more influential mages will provide occasional benefits to your country, or we can just keep them as is, and Rebellion State doesn't like us. Listen, I think we're pretty enthusiastic Rebellion, so I'm going to take the change. Oh, we didn't lose any stability, that's weird. And a royal influence. Uh, let's take the unrest, and... What's our magical infamy like? Beyond reproach. All right, let's duck some souls. Sorry, guys. We're nearly maxed out on admin and diplo. Are we anywhere near the tech? Not enough to take it. That's cool. We don't really need to work to convert because of our um, center of what's medoodle, center of reformation, or what's medoodle, as I believe it's sometimes called. Nope, that's not what I meant. Uh, 
do we want to claim on Shroud Fort? I say yes, and let's ask Raven March to break their alliance. With Corvoria, and they will just do it. That's lovely. We should also improve with them. They are not very happy with us. Kind of tempted to do this war. We are ahead in Miltech. Take it then, not in. Ah, they are in a huge amount of debt. Okay, that's cool. They love to see it. So we could potentially take a couple of provinces here. None of them are that valuable, but. You know, while we're hanging out, I feel like we should go to war, you know? You know what I'm saying? We're still respected here. Let's do one more. I think I'm going to stop taking that now, though. How many boats do you have? 62 boats. We can always hire mercs if we need. They're in a huge amount of debt and we are not. Let's have a little look at their uh, army quality. We have better morale and worse discipline. Do you have a morale guy right now? I reckon let's roll for some high-quality generals. That's what I would call a high-quality general. So, Raven March won't join this war with us, which is fine. Sagamba will join. Jad will not join. Nimsgod won't because it's far away. Grombar is in debt. Why would Dame's Crown join? Oh, the Defender of the Faith. Okay. Great. You know what, let's also... Oh, we can't cast a spell. I was going to say, let's uh, take the... Um... What's it called? Morale boost. I guess we can cast that ourselves, actually. It's in... Evocation, I think? War magic. We cannot. Um... Let's do this one. And abjuration. Is there anything in abjuration that's going to be useful? Ward. No. Alright. I mean, I guess. Hey, Sagamba, can we have fleet basing rights? I 
I think that should reduce our attrition now. What's our max here? 999. Sure, let's just go ahead and do it. Okay. we want here maybe morale of navies honestly quite rare By the way, I mentioned in the last episode, but uh, sorry if there's a bunch of background noise. There's uh, immense wind and there are trees near my room rustling and banging in the wind, but hopefully it's not too bad. Come on, 71%. That's a high chance. Nice. their troops. Not that I really mind that they're not here, but it is a little unnerving, their absence, you know. Ah, now Sagamba is going through as well. It's very nice of them. Great. Okay, there's some of their troops. Bloody Sagamba is taking this fight themselves. Not very helpful of them. I will take this tech next year. Love it if they went to try and take this fort back. I'm gonna hire some more mercs here. Venturing Company? Sirtani Raiders. Oh, we can't get them anywhere. I wish they wouldn't show up if you can't actually hire them. of the dragon. They sound pretty cool. Let's do that. Oh, and we are maxed out here. Let's take that tech. We do get new ideas. I don't think there's anything that uh, gives us, like, magic study or whatever. So... Let's 
What do we want here? Quantity? Not amazing. Quality? It's pretty good. Don't think we need any of this. Don't think we need any of this. Don't think we need that. Probably don't need this one. We don't have any gold. So I think another military idea is the way to go. So I guess it's quality? Yeah. And how far off this tech are we? Plus 220%, so let's just take all of these. is bad. Looks like we're going to lose this fight. Damn. Where'd they get so many troops from? Interesting. Alright, well, time to hire more mercs. Let's go to the adventuring company. Let's go... These guys. Company of Allen. The Crestless, absolutely. And let's go to the local adventures just because they're cheap. That should help. Why can't you go anywhere? Oh, because you're attached. You need a general. It's a pretty good one. You get a general. It sucks. It's fine. going to combine all of my actual troops into one big stack. Good at morale guy. Losing 160 a month. Nothing. Tis but a flesh wound. I think I need to leave this coalition as well. Pulled into that accidentally. Okay, that's good timing for them to leave there. I actually don't want that twenty four group to hop in just yet. Okay, nice, and their other army is running away. That's fabulous. Beautiful.
Fending in woods here. I think let's just go for it. We'll get backed up when we can. They are hopping in, and they're not hopping in anymore. Love to see it. What's the terrain here like? Also woods. going to be a hard fight if we have to fight there. Ooh, who's Raven March at war with? Dame's Crown. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Dame's Crown took the opportunity of us being at this war to get them gone. Sensible. middle of a war we just like have a little river river party okay i think i'm gonna get rid of some of these marks now about a cache right there. How are we going here? If we took a little bit less take this, can we take war reps? I would love to give them some crippling debt. Send our dudes into the meat grinder here. Okay, well, that's very silly of them. Can we get a stack wipe here? No, they're still retreating. Let's follow their retreat. Six percent. I don't really care about this province. I would rather ruin them financially. That looks good to me.
Yeah, and apologies about the wind noise. Wow, it's really going for it. Uh, what up, gamers? Uh, very sorry, I accidentally uh, stopped the recording there. So I think uh, we were still in the war with Corvuria. Um, not much has happened, we've just finished it and took a couple of provinces and some money. Um, and we got called into another war that uh, we're basically not doing anything with. So sorry about that, but you didn't really miss very much. Um, so I guess it was uh, good timing in that sense. Still, irritating. Um, we're also just one tick away from getting this study finished, finally. There we go. Uh, how are we going here? 200%. Let's take the idea. Nice. Knowledge is power. We're now legendary. And that means we've finished the treatise on magical study. Years of magical study and experience with rule has made Kalas known as one of the most enlightened rulers in the world. With the aid of the Institute and our wisest advisors, Kalas will compose a treaty on magical study and rule for all to use. So we lose one of each point for two years, and then we get an event. Yeah, which is totally fine. We are rolling in money. We can absolutely afford that. Uh, but also, let's take... Diplo rep, maybe? We also lost a bunch of manpower from uh, the riverboat events, but that is okay. Give it a general. Sure. They're pretty shitty. It's fine. Be gone. Also, our trade fleet should absolutely have our admiral. I'm going to join this coalition again. Uh, form coalition against. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if anyone joins. Doesn't look like it. We are stronger alone, which is funny because we were the only people in it, so. Take the yearly absolutism so we can get up to that minus 59 even faster. We are making 30 bucks a month from Corvorea, which is quite funny. Ah, we did delete our um, actual mercs that we were using. That's fine. We can hire them back. How are we going for force limit? Yeah, let's just hire them now. Independent army. Wow, no rebels. That's uh, surprising and good. I guess we can go and fight those guys nearby. Magical treatise finished. Inscribed Callus, sovereign of the Duchy of Conwell of the year 1669. 
After a final flourish of his quill, Cullis relaxed his cramped hand and sat back in the straight-back chair that had become his closest companion over the years. It had taken two years and a minor neglect of rule, but the Conwellian treatise on magical study was finally complete. The result of not only long years of concentrated writing, but also decades of magical study, yeah, for real, tell me about it, it's been like three episodes, and contemplation while ruling in discussions with many of the Institute's greatest scholars, the treatise is an attempt at codifying the legendary wizard's experience into an authoritative work for future generations to use. Magic is highly skill-dependent and fickle at the best of times, but it is Callus's hope that his work will help students of all skills pierce its veil and reach their fullest potential a little more easily. Time will tell whether the treatise eventually fades into oblivion in a forgotten corner of the archives. So all power costs minus 5% until the end of his life. And we finished our final mission, Rule of the Scholar Kings. The path to a successful reign lies in enlightenment and learning, for the mistakes of the past are ours to study. Buoyed by the Institute and culture of learning in Conwell, every Scholar King turns out a keen learner and talented administrator. And if not, capable and loyal Institute alumni will inevitably pick up the slack, so we get one free admin policy. And with that, we've finished every mission, which is pretty cool. So, the only thing left to do, really, is to unite the Grand Duchy of Asmaria, which I will do just for fun. Um, this was, like, that was our last thing that we were planning to do for this campaign, was uh, finish all of our missions. So I'll just wait until this war is over. Oh yeah, let's uh, send our, our guys down to... Siege tell him just for fun. Oh. Can we not? Yeah. Oh, and our guy died just in the nick of time after we'd finished our missions. That's uh, that's actually very convenient. Let's get our royal marriage here. Don't think we can marry Jad. Grumbar, let's royal marry. Get a new consort. Is this guy a half-orc? Yeah, a rebellion half-orc. That's kind of fun. Um, is there anyone else? We can marry Nimsgod Raven March. Okay, Adalor absolutely sucks. Got some Dames Tear and Notes Bridge, that's wicked. Let's immediately get rid of this guy. We can do better than that. Yeah, this was a pretty fun little campaign. Uh, Conwell is a cool country. They have um, some interesting missions. It's fun playing inside the uh, inside the Empire here. Um, definitely provides different challenges than our last campaign, which was um, the command. Oh, right, that's right. We, we deactivated all of this, which is probably good, given that we've gotten to 1670. And the game's not chugging, but I feel like it could easily chug. Um, but, uh, yeah. And Dame's Crown is crushing Corvoria. Just want some conquest, fair enough. Yeah, um, let me know if you've enjoyed this campaign. Uh, let me know if you have ideas for the next one. As I say, I'm not quite finished yet. I I'm gonna, uh... Wait, just until the end of this war so that we can form the, the duchy, just for just for kicks. Um, but yes, definitely definitely wrapping up. Dame's tier, thank you. Uh, two four one. I like Laurence, that's a fun name. Okay, 
get plus zero out of this building. Let's, uh, let's not. If we wanted to, we could also try and, you know, go out in a blaze of glory, attacking uh, Dame's Crown, but I don't think it's worth it. I originally wanted to do this campaign in Dame's Crown, but they don't have a, a unique mission tree, which makes it a lot less fun. Um, I like using the missions as a guide for, you know, what I should be doing. Yeah, and this was also a good campaign um, because of that uh, little war that we lost uh, sort of fairly early on. We had that coalition war. Um, thought that was quite fun. Okay. And now... We can unite the Grand Duchy of Asmaria. Asmaria was once a kingdom before the creation of the Empire of Anbanar, and afterwards it became a Grand Duchy within it. During the Lilac Wars, this Grand Duchy was dismantled and its ruling dynasty eliminated. With our control of the region, we can take the title of the Grand Duchy of Asmaria for ourselves. So, Esmarine becomes the new capital, we become Asmaria, and we get 10 prestige. Great. Um, no new missions or anything. We still have Conwellian ideas. Oh, why is this all not stated? It's weird. It's very weird. I will just leave this to play a little minute. Alright. Imperial Grand Duchy. When Anbanar was formed in 1221, three major kingdoms in its previous territory received the honor of joining the empire not as mere duchies, but as illustrious Grand Duchies. The Kingdom of the Wexenards, the Kingdom of Asmaria, and the Moonlit Kingdom of Demaria, which would become the Grand Duchies of Wex, Asmaria, and Demaria, respectively. These three Grand Duchies would be very powerful forces within the Empire, having a large impact on its politics and proceedings for hundreds of years. However, with the coming of the Lilac Wars in 1348, this would start to change. During this century-spanning series, century series of conflicts, Born in part from the actions of some of the Grand Duchies themselves, two out of the three Grand Duchies would be dissolved due to the discontinuation of their ruling lineages. First, in 1365, the death of the Grand Duke of Asmaria would cause the entire region to fracture into various feuding river lords, which would join different sides of the ongoing conflict. Second, in 1441, the deaths of Aidan Silmuna, the Grand Duke of Demaria, and the rest of his close family, defined the end not just of the Lilac Wars, but of the Grand Duchy of Demaria as a whole, leaving Wex as the only remaining Grand Duchy. Until now. Through careful military and diplomatic maneuvering, one of the territories under the former Grand Duchies managed to unify enough of their old claim to demand the title of the former Grand Duchy for themselves. Now, an important question remains for the Emperor. How far should we indulge the claims of this new Grand Duchy? So, we get the incident. A ghost from the past has become flesh and blood. Duke Adelor has declared the revival of Asmaria. Seeking to restore a title shattered centuries ago, this upstart ruler seeks not to only embrace the traditions and banners of the Grand Duchy, but has pressed the fallen claim to the Emperor. Requesting the title of Grand Duke and all the privileges that go with it, Adelor has stoked the ire of many other Imperial Princes who bristle at their overt and covert means of securing their power. What's more, should they gain the title of Grand Duke? No, uh, should they grant the, gain the title of Grand Duke, they will gain historical claims to land that current Imperial Princes own. But should we deny them this request, they could either revolt or seek independence from the Empire. How will we approach this delicate diplomatic matter? I'm actually going to go right ahead and cast Magnificent Feast. And so the votes are, we can be fully entitled to its previous claims. Uh, we can have the title and nothing else. Or we get no praise nor accolades and we'll get an imperial censure. So let's vote for this one. Let's see what happens. And we can get a government reform here. That's funny, we finished the missions before we got our thing done here. Monarch Diplo skill, no stability loss, national focus cooldown. Seems pretty good. Let's join this coalition. Yeah, so uh, this episode probably will go a little bit longer, um, given that it's the last one. Magisterium wants to ally us. Are they voting?
Let's say yes in the hope that they vote for us here. Yep. Uh, Pearl's Edge. What if we were to Royal marry you? Can't influence, unfortunately. Uh, and who else? x -wares. Royal Marriage. Moonhaven won't marry us, but we can probably proclaim a guarantee. Sestirande. Right here. Let's ally them. Nice. That's already helped a bit. Hey, BPEC, would you like a guarantee? Not much, it seems. Tell him, would you like an alliance? Nice. Uh, and Bencost. I know you want an alliance. Now, this is obviously, like, not very good in a long-term kind of way. Uh, but, um... Like, it's ruining our diplomatic situation. But, uh, it's fun, you know. Uh, Vern. Can I interest you in an alliance? Moonhaven will ally us now? We're only getting two Diplo power a month now because of this. Uh, Aranen and Gizden. And Aranen's here. Okay, they became hostile as we offered them an alliance. That's funny. Rubenair. I wouldn't mind doing another campaign in the Empire, um, trying to become Emperor through diplomatic, uh, means. I'm just gonna do this one, because it's the only one we can easily get. We do have Diplo Rep here, um, we've also cast that spell. Enchantment. Um, yeah, we really got lucky that that guy, uh, our previous ruler, lasted just long enough for this to get through our missions. Why are we losing money? Oh, because we're way over our force limit. That, that makes sense. Um, I don't think Diplomats actually helps us here.
Where's Seliande? I know I just checked, but... Okay. Oh, they chose the one that... <laughs> the censure. That's so rude. After we spent all of that time getting everyone on board. It was quiet within the Imperial Parliament. Benign spies sent to the Emperor's court sought to gain any insight from the ruler, but found no leaks or whispers. Neither supporters nor detractor of Adelor sat at ease, though the absence of the upstart duke gave some comfort to the former. They waited 12 hours, gorging on the buffet and spewing, uh, brewing silent plots with their attendants until the Emperor arrived at midnight. A banging on the parliament doors sent the sergeant at arms sprinting to open the door, but their face dropped as they saw the silver in. A few princes leaned over to see what all the fuss was about. Stepping into the chamber was Emperor Silverin in full battle regalia, ready for war, bearing a torch in one hand and the battered banner of duke in another. The emperor stepped to the podium, staring imperiously at the chamber as they sparked the torch and set the banner alight. The burning of the banner itself was the emperor's speech. Okay... We can leave the Empire, that's pretty fun. Or we can declare on wisdom. <laughs> I'm kinda tempted to do that one. We're gonna absolutely get get thrashed. We could just leave the Empire, but this is gonna be the end of the uh, campaign anyway. So yeah, let's let's leave the Empire. And uh, with that I'll I'll uh, end the episode and the campaign. Um, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next campaign. Let me know if you have ideas for where we should go next. I might take a little break. I was thinking about uh, playing some other games for a little while. But uh, yeah, I'm keen to come back and play more. Oh, I definitely want to do a dwarf campaign in the in the Spire. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. I'll probably do one of those. But yeah, uh, let me know if you have other ideas too. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next campaign.